Hello, my soapy friends, and welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new here, my name is Lissa, also known as the Soap Chef on this channel where we make all things with a rather good lather. I've been a maker in this industry for over two decades. We are a 3D bath bomb mold supplier, and my favorite products to make, of course, are bath bombs. But that's enough about me. Let's get right into the video. Okay, so we are continuing on with our rice series, and for today's video, we are going to be making my rice protein solid shampoo bar, otherwise known as a Sindet bar, which is a synthetic detergent bar. I've got all my ingredients all lined up and ready to go. The first thing I wanna do is start getting all of my, my butters and emulsifiers and conditioners melted down in a water bath. So that's the first step I'm going to do. We're going to be using some BTMS 50, some kokum butter, you can use sal butter or ellipi butter. Um, we've got some stearic acid and we've got some cetyryl alcohol. So the stearic acid is going to provide structure, hardness, and a creamy lather. And then the cetyryl alcohol is going to bring some emolliency to the bar as well as it softens and conditions. Okay, uh, so give me just one moment. Let me go stick that in a water bath and I'll bring you back for the next steps. Okay, that's all been melted down. Let's go ahead and start adding all of our dry ingredients. We're going to start by adding some SCI powder, and that's your cleanser. That's your main cleanser. All right, next in we're going to be putting SLSA. And then we're going to be putting in our liquid surfactant, and I am using loramidopropyl betaine. You can use cocomidopropyl betaine, that's perfectly fine. Um, this is an excellent refatting agent if you are working with liquid cleansers, like hand cleansers or liquid shampoos or body washes, things like that. It's, it's a really great refatting agent, um, but also it's good for anti-static. Um, it has a lot of anti-static properties, and it's a foam booster. All right, so let's just go ahead and try to get these powders a little bit wet. By the way, if I haven't said so before, this is a cold process method of making the shampoo bars. I do not do hot process any longer. All of my powders are very, very fine. I don't use noodles. I don't use coarse grain anything. And so there's really no need for me to put anything into a water bath to melt anything down. Ever since I started doing the cold process method, I've never gone back. It makes a superior hard bar and I've made shampoo bars for 23 years now. And I'll never go back to the hot process method. One of my shampoo bars, weighing roughly three and a half ounces, lasts, uh, my husband and I, we can get 82 washes out of one bar. And yes, we actually did a test and wrote it down every time we used the shampoo bar to see how long it would last. All right, let's try to get some of that off of there. All right, next we're going to add some of our dry ingredients and we're gonna start off by adding some rice starch not to be confused with rice flour, two different things. But again, keep in mind, we are doing a whole rice series. So that's our rice starch. 
followed by some marine collagen in powdered form. And that is gonna strengthen and help restore nutrients to the hair. Followed by some polyquat 10, which adheres to your hair protein and provides pretty decent wet combability. I'm gonna get in here now with a whisk. Just kind of try to whisk all this together now. I don't color my shampoo bars. I stopped coloring them many years ago. I don't see a need for it. Does it look pretty? Sure. Can it turn somebody's hair a different color? Yes. <laughs> Is it necessary really to have a colorant in, in this? No. Liquid shampoos is a different story. I will use a um, water-soluble dye in liquid shampoos or hand washes or body gels, you know, shower gels, but not in my solid poo bars. I won't do that. All right, now that that's all in there, let's go ahead and add all of the emollients and our hardeners and our butter. Let's get that into the pool. got that mixed in pretty well. Let's go ahead and start adding all of the rest of our liquid additive. All right, next we're going to be putting in some butylene glycol, which is a humectant, moisturizing, conditioning. If you would like to use glycerin or um, propanodiol, however the heck you say that word, go ahead and do that. Next, we're going to be putting in our hydrolyzed rice protein. Again, more rice. All right, next, we're going to be putting in some lupine protein, or you could use some milk lipids, or just leave it out altogether if you'd rather not use any of that kind of stuff. Next, some liquid panthenol. You can use the powdered if you'd like. I switch between each one depending on what I'm making. If I need more liquids to combine in, power, in the powders um, to make it pliable, I'll use the liquid. All right, after the panthenol comes our liquid silk. Next, we're going to be bringing in some of our vitamin E. to be adding some honey quat. <clears throat> All right, let's give this a good mix now. We're going to get in here with our hands in just a couple of minutes. As soon as I add in the preservative and our scent, we're going to start mixing this around with our hands. It still is just a little bit on the sticky side, but it's nothing at all compared to when you do the hot process method and you've melted everything together. That is a gloppy, disastrous mess, and I hated making that. All right, we're going to be putting in our scent blend. 
which happens to be Rice, Flour, and Shea is my scent blend. All things rice, rice baby. Cue vanilla ice. And lastly, we're going to be putting in some liquid Germal Plus. That is our preservative. And that's it as far as ingredients are concerned. And now we're just gonna get in here with our hands and start mashing. smell of this stuff. It's so nice. Okay, so you guys want to knead this now. Once you get done mixing this all, and it's going to be gloppy at first, but keep going. Don't give up, okay? You have to have just the right mix of wet to dry ingredients to be able to form this pliable dough that's not going to stick to your hands. Now, obviously, I've changed out my gloves because it does get gloppy in the beginning when you're down in here and you're mixing everything. But just keep going, you guys. I promise it will turn out like this. Change your gloves out after you get done mixing with your hands. There's nothing wrong with that. And then you're gonna have a nice pliable dough ball and then we're gonna take pinches off of that to mold them. So let's stick that there. I am going to be using my shampoo bar press. This is a four cavity, two and a half inch shampoo bar press that we print. All right, so the first thing I wanna do actually, before I even do that, hold please. I wanna go ahead and I wanna put some plastic wrap down on the bottom before I even put my shell down there. You don't have to do this. If you would rather cut out small little circles of parchment paper or butcher paper that will fit right inside of each one of the cylinders, go ahead and do that. But I just put the plastic wrap down there. I'm only making four bars today. This is a small batch. This is a one pound batch that I made. And so each one of these is going to weigh four ounces and I do weigh it out. So, okay, you've got your ball, your dough ball. Right, you're just gonna pinch some off. And weigh it out. And I want four ounces of each. A little too much. Perfect. All right, and then just kind of mash it into shape with your hands. Try to help it along as much as you can, as far as the shape is concerned. All right, oh, that's a little bit too wide. These are two and a half inch, by the way. All right, and just give it a couple little presses with your thumb. Let's get another pinch. really is a very simple recipe. It's got fantastic ingredients in it for your hair. Even though, like I said, it's gloppy in the beginning there when you're mixing everything with your hand, just keep going. It will get better. And then even if you want to just kind of leave it there to sit for just a little bit, just to chill out and come together, you know, walk away from it, mix it, Change your gloves out, let it sit there five, 10 minutes. Wow, that was right on. And then come back. And it should, everything should have started to dry out a little bit for you. And so it'll be easier to get in there and scrape. I used my, my spoon to get in there and scrape all the way around the bottom. This last one should weigh four ounces, hopefully. Three, 
3.90. So that one I'll keep for myself. It's like making biscuits. Press that in with your hands. Come back over with another piece of plastic or more small round discs of your parchment paper or your butcher paper. I am going to be using my Arbor Press today to get a nice good pack. So then go ahead and take your top piece of your plunger. I don't know if this will actually fit under here. It might not. No, it's not going to. It's too tall. Okay, so just give some pushes with your hands. Okay, good enough. Turn that over. I'm just going to wiggle that bottom piece right on off of there. Take that bottom piece of plastic right off. I'm going to try to wiggle this down now. Okay. And just go ahead and take that right on off. And there's some finger presses from what I did. You guys don't have to do what I did as far as pushing it down, but I wanna weigh every one of these just so I make sure the one that's a little less than four ounces, that's gonna be for me. Okay, and it's this one. So we'll go ahead and put that right up in the corner there. Four ounces. four ounces, and four ounces. So those three we can go ahead and sell, and then this one over here will be for me. I need a new one anyways. Okay, and that's it. Just go ahead and take this off, and you discard your paper, your, your plastic rather, or your little round sheets of parchment paper, and that's the end of that. You're done. Okay, and here we go, you guys. Here is our rice protein solid shampoo bars that we made as part of our rice series. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I tried to make it as easy as possible. If you need any help, you know, and you get stuck, literally, <laughs> with the gooey um don't don't be afraid to reach out i'm always available especially over on patreon and this recipe will be available over there on patreon as well as the member section here on the channel and i also do put up the pdfs on my etsy shop soap chef molds and my website soap-chef.com so you can get this recipe a variety of different ways but this, this is just such a wonderful recipe and with this rice flour and shea scent oh my gosh you guys rice rice baby okay we still have a couple of more products that we're going to be uh, coming out with they're already done i just need to make them on film and do the editing and all that kind of stuff um and that was going to finish up our rice series but you know stick around you guys there's a couple more in our rice series to come okay if you did enjoy this uh please give it a thumbs up comment share with your friends and if you haven't already subscribed please do so ring that notification bell okay it's the next day everybody and i just wanted you guys to see how firm these have gotten just overnight no denting This is the one that I'm going to be using for myself, so I can go ahead and touch that as much as I'd like. But it's been getting quite hard in less than 24 hours, and it's just going to continue to do so. I usually leave mine sit for about two weeks before I start to package them. Um, the longer they sit, obviously, it's kind of like the bar soap, right? The longer they sit, they're going to get a little bit more hard, a little bit more mild. Um, but two weeks is about good for me before I start packaging. 
Um, I'm going to start using this probably in just a couple of days though. But anyways, that's it. Those are our rice protein shampoo bars. I hope you guys really enjoyed the video. Um, and again, the recipe is going to be available over on Patreon and in the member section, as well as some PDF files on uh, Etsy and on my website. So until we meet again, you guys, be kind and stay humble and take care of yourselves. See you soon.